This week is another exciting week for me. It is an opportunity to review another product offering from the GM stable and also offer you some feedback on the past month in the industry. Further to this, over the past two weeks, we have been intentional about discussing safe motoring, and this week is no different. We will touch base on another three brief points to be mindful whilst being a motorist. So welcome to today's car argument with me, Duncan MacDonald. Right, so first up, an industry update. Big international news, but perhaps not so new. The three presenters of Top Gear, the world's largest motoring show with over a quarter of a billion viewers, have migrated to their new show, aptly entitled The Grand Tour. Jeremy, James and Richard have begun their journey around the world hosting a new motoring program which promises to be just as entertaining as the original Top Gear. The first few episodes are out and are definitely a must-watch. Moving into local news, the norms of figures are in and the big shakeup, at least for the reports in the media, is the Bucky segment where the Ford Ranger pipped the Toyota Hilux for first place in number of sales. Again, and when I say euphemistically pipped, I really mean beat down with a Bucky's Buerta blindside tackle. The Ranger selling 3,680 as compared to the once almighty Hilux at 2,492 units. Speaking of Bucky's, a little later, we will be addressing another new vehicle on the market, the new look 2016 Isuzu, specifically the KB300 extended cab, which I have been driving. Back to the figures, top passenger vehicle sales in third spot, the Corolla Quest, second, the Polo Vivo, and in top spot for another consecutive month, the VW Polo. Coincidentally, the same vehicles Jeremy Clarkson highlights as the vehicles most stolen in South Africa. Him saying this in the second episode of their new show, The Grand Tour, which if you haven't seen yet, you need to. Other notable activity this month, Peugeot Citroen South Africa have announced a new strategy for the next five years in the SA market. They announced a brand relaunch as well as three new vehicles, of which two will be SUVs. So that's the industry in brief. For further info, you can log on to namsa.co.za or simply follow the links on duncanatcars.tumblr.com. So as this is a car conversation, best we talk about the vehicle I have been driving, the updated Isuzu KB300 Extended Cab. Extended Cab means that the bucky seats two passengers but also has a large storage space behind the seat that is accessed by two additional suicide or front-facing opening doors. After driving this for a week, I realized the benefits of this design and can see the appeal reaching further than just for farmers or business owners looking for the tax benefits. The appeal now is stealing into the leisure scene where I see the active lifestyle peeps are choosing this option to clad their bucky with their motorbikes, bikes, kayaks and surfboards. So how does the Isuzu offering fare? While the updated look certainly is a vast improvement, the external aesthetics are now up there with the relevant local competition and I would say better looking than most. The Isuzu now has what it lacked previously presence. With its legendary reliability, coupled with this new look, it is bound to be a player in the Bucky segment in 2017. It may still feel like the Vax Eosel of old, but is that such a bad thing? I enjoyed the diesel purr, and I like that feel that I can take it on-road, off-road, gravel or grass track. And I did. I took the path less traveled, and the Isuzu, in four-wheel drive mode, dealt with it superbly. Ground clearance and low gearing coupled to all-terrain tires offer you a confident footing on the most challenging gravel paths and off-road adventures. The vital stats, the Isuzu KB Extended Cab is priced from 377,400 Rand compared to the Ford Ranger Super Cab starts at 265,900 Rand. That's a staggering 100,000 Rand price difference. But note the Ranger base model comes out with no airbags, ABS or aircon. To add this is an additional 13,000. So still a vast difference in pricing though. The Toyota offering, the Hilux Extra Cab, starts from 354,800 Rand. So some 60,000 Rand more than the Ford, but 20 grand less than the Isuzu. Apples for apples for the vehicle on test, the KB300 4x4 Alex Manual, priced at 474,400 Rand, compares with the other two brands, the Ranger 3.2 4x4 Manual at 462,900 Rand, and the Hilux 2.8 GD6 4x4 Raider Manual comes in at 492,900 Rand. So consider the price differences per model if you are considering alternatives. So the Isuzu is well equipped and offers a good value package for a large brand competitor. 3 litre 4 cylinder diesel motor delivering 130 kilowatts and 380 newton meters of torque is under the bonnet and the manufacturer claims fuel consumption around 10.1 litres per hundred. It's offered with a 5 year 120,000 warranty and a 5 year 90,000 service plan. I enjoyed the extended care by Suzu and I think you would too. So moving on to safety this season, over the past two weeks we have been intentional about discussing safety. This week is no different. Last week we spoke about driver safety, this week I want to talk briefly about being a good passenger and pedestrian. 
noting that more of the aforementioned are killed in crashes than drivers. 40 deaths per day on roads in South Africa, and this increases over the festive season. So today's top tips. Top tip number one. Do not get into a vehicle with a drunk driver or someone you know who is likely to take a call or text whilst driving. To do this, you need to think ahead to avoid a potentially offensive or embarrassing situation. But this one seemingly insignificant decision will save someone's life this season. Top tip number two. Do not be a distraction to the driver. You wouldn't barge into the cockpit of an aircraft whilst in mid-flight and start an argument with a pilot, right? Likewise, leave the serious talk for the destination. Top tip number three. Pedestrians. Think for the drivers whilst crossing a road or intersection. Realize that some drivers may not see you and thus you need to take appropriate action. Do not assume at any time that you have right of way and simply walk. Even though the law states otherwise, look out and be mindful. And that's it today from me, Duncan MacDonald. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at Duncan on Cars or Duncan on Cars at Tumblr.com. At the time of writing and recording this week's vehicle review, it is two weeks to Christmas. For some, a wonderful time of the year. For others, a not-so-great time. My sentiments to both parties this season is I pray that you have a wonderful, restful time of the year filled with joy and peace. Further to this, happy and safe motoring.